So if you go out the guest house, again, that's the driveway to the right. But to the left, you can walk out this way to the side yard. There's a, a small grassy area out here. Um, on the other side of these hedges is the property next door. And that really big house over there owns this property as well. Um, and then that walkway goes all the way around the house to the dock. I'll show you that a little bit later. So we'll walk back through here and we'll go to the main house. This is the front yard. big royal palms in the front paver driveway and we've got a three-car garage here and this is the front entrance for the house and we'll walk in this way Huge tall ceilings throughout this whole house, like 14 foot, I'm guessing. This is the formal sitting area and entryway as you come in. You can see right out to the pool and the dock. Stairway to the second floor formal dining with the wood ceiling, which is pretty, coffered ceiling, uh, custom window treatments, of course. This is a pretty decent sized area. You can see how large this table is. It fits, you know, eight or ten easily. And this side of the entryway is the den or office. And it's good size. This is a closet back here for the den. Just a small coat closet. You've got French doors from the den to the main living area out here. Pretty fireplace, gas. And this hallway here to the left goes to the, the master suite side of the house. You've got another powder room here for your guests glass sink <laughs> and this is also a pool bath that opens up to the pool and spa you can see out there they're still making some repairs from the hurricane but So this is the master suite. Really tall ceiling, recessed lighting. And then you've got huge sliders that look out on the pool in the water. And this, we're walking towards the bathroom here. This is your dressing area. Big closet. Goes all the way around. <laughs> Pretty good amount of storage there. And then you've got his closet 
here. Also has quite a bit of storage. Then we've got the bathroom. So this is your freestanding tub. You've got two sink areas with lots of storage all the way around and underneath with all granite countertops. There's a separate water closet. And then the shower goes through here and all the way around. It's a walk-through shower, so you can see, I don't want to walk in it right now because it's wet, but you can see the shower goes all the way around. Has multiple shower heads um, and body sprays. A jacuzzi tub. And marble floors throughout here. And carpet in the bedroom area. Okay, now we wham across the living room, and now right before the kitchen, we're just past the dining area here, and then you go to the right down this hallway, and we have another bedroom here with, an, with its own bath. So... walk-in shower there. Closet here. Not a huge one, but for guests. Then we've got back out here. And this is the laundry back here. And then this goes to the garage, which I know you want to see, Dave. So let me find some lights. Oh, I guess that's all the lights right now. So this is a three-car garage. They have a lot of stuff in here. They've got their golf cart, which you can drive around the community. Um, They've got one car and then space for the other car here, which is now being occupied by a paddle board. So that's the garage. Let me go back through here. down this hall and then we hang right to the kitchen and you've got pantry here like floor to ceiling oh these are cool we will roll out cabinets pantry cabinets here and then you've got another pantry here And you walk into the main kitchen. Which is cabinets all the way to the ceiling. You've got double oven meal, mealy. Um, warming drawer at the bottom, I believe. And this is a microwave. warm drawer, cooktop, which is nice, you got a window, even though you're just looking out at the courtyard here, 
This is a wolf induction cooktop with five burners. And got a octagonal little island with a prep sink. And you've got dishwasher here. It's a Bosch. Double sink. This is trash and refrigerator with the cabinet panels on it. It's a counter depth thermidor refrigerator freezer. Here a little coffee station. And the top cabinets, as you can see, are all glass. This also has tray ceiling. And then this is all open to the family room. So you've got four stools here for sitting in the kitchen. And good sized family room with a wet bar on the other side. Built in cabinetry for a big screen TV. And these are all so your bar with your sink there. And this is all open. These are what we call 90 degree sliders. So they open in both directions to open this whole room up. So this one on the left opens this way and then one on the right opens the other way so that one this gives you a whole indoor outdoor feel there's a uh, covered lanai area there and then you've got your pool and spa right here nice uh, sun deck area on the pool out here. These are all impact windows and sliders, by the way. And they also have roll down shutters, so you've got double protection. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can see here these doors pocket all the way to the back over to here, and then the same on the other side. So this is the Vanishing Edge Pool. This is your sun deck area. Spa. And when I eating area for the kitchen with a nice view. And then they added this divider, but you could t it's not connected the ceiling or or anything so you could take this wall out right here but they just separated it because he keeps all his fishing gear and stuff on this side and then that's the door to the pool bath and this is the master sliders and then if we walk over this way we've got the outdoor kitchen With a, a big bar. They've got eight stools around this bar. As you can see how big this is. And there's, there's TV, grill, sink, and they're putting in a new uh, mini fridge as well out here. So this is a nice large outdoor kitchen with granite back, mosaic tile backsplash. And it has the hood so your grill doesn't smoke up the ins in the inside of your lanai. And then down here, you can see they have a little tiki hut. And they have two lifts. One here, as you can see with the boat on it. 
and then the other one there. And it's got all Trex decking here. I'll walk down. And this is this is the neighbor's dock where that gate is. And then he, this is theirs, the gray one. And it's all, as I said, it's all composite. And you could see the view here is across the canal or the, the waterway here to the preserve. So you don't have any houses behind you, which is nice. And then this is their dock and the other lift here. And this is the house next door. So where the duck, color of the dock changes is where their dock starts. And they own this other piece of property, as I mentioned, um, in between the two houses. It's grassy area here. So you're not right on top of that house. And then I'll walk back up this way and I'll show you the upstairs. All right, so now we're back inside. Here's the living area again. That's a gas fireplace, correct? Yes. Okay, and then we've got the stairway to the upstairs. There's, and there's two more bedrooms here as well as a game room. So downstairs we saw the master and then one guest room. And then up here, you have two more get bedrooms. And these two bedrooms have sort of a, a really expanded Jack and Jill bathroom. So like on this side, you've got toilet sink, and then you walk through, you have a large shared shower. And then you walk through here, and these all have pocket doors that separate it. You've got another sink and toilet area for this bedroom. So, and this one, as you can see, has access to the large balcony, which I'll go out in a second. This is the game room. So when you come up the stairs there, this is the first thing you see. You can put a pool table here. You can do what they did. They've got like a little uh, movie set up, movie room set up. Um, this also has the wood beams and another little wet bar here. So, with a pretty cool little copper sink. And then we've got the balcony here, which I'll, which I'll go out. You can act, you can get to from either the guest room or the game room. These are also 90 degree sliders here, so you can open this bedroom up to the outside. And now you can really see the view from up here. You're looking at the preserve all the way across to the edge of Cape Coral. And this canal takes you right down to the river. You can see how large this balcony is. from up here and the docks and that is pretty much the house they're getting some things fixed still they've got gutters repairs they're working on and um, a few other small items 
but it will be done soon and ready to move in. All right, guys. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.